question uh, well, 2.12 says in the circuit figure uh, obtain a v1 v2 and v3 okay so Christoph law right uh, within the loop all the uh, current uh, volts you add them together not current volts so you add them together should be zero so let's use uh, loop one uh, so if it's entering into the negative then the volts uh, is counted as negative 40 right so for example and then entering negative so it's negative 50 and then plus 20 right and then plus v that's how i usually do this and then you finish the loop okay so loop one what is loop one let's get rid of all this and uh so negative 40 v minus 50 v and plus 20 and plus uh v1 right so in this case uh v1 should gives you 70 right 90 plus minus 20 70 okay and then now we get v1 let's uh, solve this from the uh, two second perspective so it would be negative 20 V right starting at uh, this the center knot over here that's connecting like this knot this is 20 negative right goes from here and uh, we go up and then go to the 30 so plus 30 V and then minus V2 Okay, so what is V2? V2, it is 10V, right? Neg uh, plus 10, V goes to the other side. All right, so now we have V1 and V2, and now we can f uh, work on loop three, right? So it's negative 70V, uh, and then plus V2, which is 10V, and then plus V3. Uh, this all goes to, goes to zero, so therefore V3, uh, it is 60V right okay uh hopefully this was helpful uh pretty straightforward if it's only testing us on one concept all right so now i'll see you in my future videos bye